Hey, David Raffoff here. Thanks for joining me for another video today. We're going to be covering the RPG style inventory menu system uh, that is fairly similar to Skyrim or SkyUI if you're familiar with that, but it, it's also pretty similar to lots of games. Um, so in this video, I'm just going to be covering how to get different parts of the menu system to communicate with each other in a way that's uh, kind of like scalable and not um, too tightly coupled. Um, if you haven't watched the previous videos in the series, uh, up to this point, I've basically covered building out a list of menu items that's built um, off of an inventory and then shown how to make uh, the items that fill up that inventory and then how to, dis how to display all that and then how to display some item details on the other side. So that'll be kind of the starting point for this. Um, if you check the notes for the video, um, I've also got links to uh, the files for the project as well as the commit for this specific video. So uh, it's a Git repository and um, you can just check out, you know, whichever commits relevant to any of these videos as you go through them. Uh, but yeah, look forward to going through this and um, I'll see you over there. Yeah, so uh, from the previous video here, we've got our inventory list on the left and our details on the right. And you can see on the right, there's just an item uh, for Daedric Sword on the uh, details on the right, but it's not quite hooked up and working. And then in the console down there, um, if we were to click on those buttons, we would be seeing the output uh, of the item name. So in this video, what we're gonna be doing is wiring up these two things to be able to actually communicate together so that when you click on um, a, bu uh, a weapon, uh, it actually updates the details on the right. So here I'm adding an active inventory item change event. So to do this, we're gonna rely on Unity events. And what we'll do is we'll define what this event is. And to do that, you'll wanna make sure you have using Unity engine.events. And then if you use system.serializable above this event, um, you can access it through the UI. And uh, basically you wanna have a Unity event that's type is whatever the type of thing is you're passing. So it's gonna be inventory item for us in this case. And then there's no body for the class. <clears throat> so then with um, that event in place, we can start to use that uh, to pass information around. So um, what we wanna be able to do is when we click on an inventory item, we want that to um, uh, generate an event. And then we wanna be able to say uh, that our item details um, listen to that event and get triggered, uh, a particular method gets triggered, uh, the set item method. So um, the other thing we'll also want to do is when our list is generated, we'll probably want to um, generate one of these events too, just so that uh, it can automatically set the details uh, up for the first item in the list. So here I'm adding uh, activate first item method and that happens on awake and we're just grabbing the first item in our list and if it's not null we're um, invoking in, uh, an instance of uh, active inventory uh, change item event with that item and we're going to wire that up to set item here and set item is taking an inventory item and just setting the item and then the text label in the item detail uh, script So here is our um, list of items. And you can see now it has an active inventory item change event. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag the item details um, to be the target game object there. And then once we do that, that drop dropdown uh, will let you select that game object script and uh, method. And now you can see when we start this up, <clears throat> we're getting uh, the Daedric Sword title changed up here in the item details, and that's because it's Daedric Sword is the first item on the list on the left. So this is a really easy way to wire these things up, and if you want more things to happen, you can just add, use that plus icon on active inventory item change event on the right, and just add more of these. But that's the only one we need there for now. So <clears throat> that's pretty cool. So we've got... Um, this list on the left with the buttons for all of our items. And then it's uh, just by starting up knows how to automatically um, reach out and update the item details. So now an item chooser, which is a script we use for the buttons, we're also gonna add um, an active inventory item change event. Um, and then when we do choose item, we are going to invoke that with the item for that button. 
and then again we're gonna need to um trigger some of the, the uh we're gonna have to wire up the behaviors here in uh the ui so here for the active inventory item change event we'll add an entry we will again drag over the um, item details game object and then there we will select in the function item details script and the set item method and let this run and now you can see as we click through these that um, it's just going to change the details on the right to match whatever we chose on the left and this is pretty cool i mean it's really basic at this point but um, this is the mechanism you need to pass all the information back in, uh, between these two areas so you know at this point we could throw on all kinds of things item descriptions stats um, you know maybe whether it's equipped or not um, damn you know uh, quality or like damage modifiers or any, just anything um, that you would want to add in about an item um, really all the basics are in place for this at this point Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully that helps show how to get different systems to communicate with each other without being like directly connected. Um, I find that this system is a pretty nice, flexible way of doing things. Um, it can be overused like anything else. Uh, but I think for this example, it um, works pretty well. Um, I'll be c uh, probably covering additional topics related to building out a menu system in future videos. Uh, it's gonna kind of depend on interests. So, uh, if you want to see more videos in this line, um, please just leave a comment below and maybe uh, a quick note about, you know, what would be most helpful for you to look at. Um, I have a couple things in mind that we could do like different categories of items um, or filtering or something, sorting things along the, those lines. Uh, but yeah, if there's something in particular you're interested in learning more about, please uh, leave a comment. Um, if you haven't, click the like button. If you want to hear more videos like this, hit subscribe and click the little notification bell to be alerted when uh, new videos come out. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.